Assalamualaikum So today we're going to continue with our Roman simulation chapter 4 part 2 So we're going to discuss where we left question number 8 to question number 12, 13, 14 Okay before I start Okay I would like to express a, a correction on our previous lesson So please check the part 1 Okay for question number 7 Okay, we learned uh, to apply this equation Q equal to MC theta when power, power is given power is Q over T so you substitute over here Q becomes PT okay so uh, I made a mistake by writing over here P over T equal to MC theta so this one salah lah supposed to be so please check the question Ok now we proceed with question number 8 Question number 8 Air in the tyre of a car has pressure 220 kilopascal At initial temperature of 27 celsius After the race temperature of the air increases to 87 celsius Calculate the air pressure and what is the assumption What assumptions so more than one So when you read the question Something like this Make sure you know what are the data given from the question. So over here we have P 220 kilo pascal. So kilo 10 per 3. Not to count, eh? Ribu. Then we have initial temperature. Let's say T1 is 27. T2 is 87. So this is will be P1. So the question what is P2? So we have the question P is given, T are given Please remember which laws you're going to use So remember the triangle PBT So what happened here? P is given okay, T is given So V constant So now apply So this is Boyce, Charles, you do Z Okay, so you decide so now once you have P and B, so you know we're going to apply this equation. Again, make sure the units. So this is not in SI unit, given in Celsius. This one, so we the Then baru you compute and get the answer. The same goes to question number nine. Okay, before that, question A, question B. Question B, what are the assumptions? So from here, we know the assumptions This can be applied when V constant So, V constant Apa lagi? So, orang kata assumptions So, kena plural lah, more than one Apa lagi kita nak anggap? Uh, assumption ni, anggapan So, V constant Lagi apa kita nak anggap? Uh, bilangan gas dalam tu pun sama So, bilangan atom means number of moles of the atom inside the tire is equal okay we have a lot more assumption so find it out for question number nine sama juga or watch us online so tengok ada p ke ada t ke ada v ke apa yang ada bagi so apa yang ada bagi kita list down yang tu kita nak guna so air bubble trap under a tip of water okay let's say so water so ada daun kat sini Okay, so ada air bubble trap sikit kat dalam Okay, so kat sini air bubble So the question is What is the volume of the air bubble when the water temperature rises to 38 Celsius? So, sama juga, kita list down Mula-mula kita ada T T1, T Celsius Then we have T2, 38 Celsius So V1 is given 3.6 cm cube okay, So you have V, you have T So means, what assumption is lagi? V constant, pressure tak berubah Okay, so Do your calculation We have V, we have T So we have V1 over T1 V2 over T2 State 3 assumptions So they are not 3 assumption. So we can say that what happened? This happened when P constant tekanan tak berubah. Lagi apa lagi awak nak kata? Uh, 
Okay, we can say that Air ni mungkin tenang lah Kalau air ni tak tenang Berlalu So, kat sini pun akan berubah Dan kita nak kata apa juga Macam tadi So, number of moves Bila nak letak kat dalam ni pun Tak boleh tambah Tak boleh tambah Kurang Maintain je Okay, so that are our assumption Now, question number 10 Question number 10 is very interesting You have to decide Okay, baca soalan Kena tahu tajuk apa Macam biasa Nombor 10 ni ada kaitan dengan law Gas law Kalau tak ada kaitan dengan gas law Kita ada lagi dua Kita ada latent heat specific Kita ada specific heat capacity okay, So which is which So question number 10 Figure shows ice cube being heated by Power dia bagi 500 Watt For 80 seconds Okay this time Apa yang dia bagi this time Make sure dah terlalu isi unit terus The melted ice cube are collected in the beaker Specific latent heat Latent heat Dia bagi 3.34 What is meant by latent heat of fusion? Okay bukan latent heat saja. Eh. Latent heat of fusion means Apa yang berlaku ketika fusion process tu Ketika dia cair Ada changes in temperature or not So that one you decide lah Dah cerita lama banyak kali lah Okay kalau latent tu means Tak ada changes in temperature lah Okay, then why does the temperature remain unchanged? Okay, masa dia cair nak makan ais tu oh, Tengok gambar rajah tu oh. Dalam ni ada ais Okay, dia panaskan ais Sampai jadi Ayat dalam ni Kenapa tak ada changes in temperature? Okay, dia kata changes in temperature itu to zero Why? Ha, kalau ingat balik graf tu Because the heat supply is fully used to melt To break the bond So, perkataan dia Nah, sesuai Break The bond Dia nak pecahkan ikatan pekerja ni Supaya jadi macam So that's the word Calculate energy absorbed by the cube So energy Q So kita dah belajar Energy absorbed Q equal to So nak pakai ni ke Tak perlu lagi energy ni kat sini dah ada So we know P equal to Q over T So nak cari ni Dapat terus Q So energy Then mass of the melted ice cube So berapa yang cair Baru guna ni balik So dalam ni Dapat yang berapa yang cair Okay that's for question ni Very easy So you get the answer in kilogram terus What assumption Sama juga What assumption Masa dia panas ni Kita kena anggap Tak ada heat loss to surrounding So Heat yang pergi ni Power ni Semua digunakan untuk cair Tak ada yang pergi ke surrounding Tak ada diserap oleh bika Okay So yang perlu kena ada Assumption lagi apa lagi okay, So You should come out with more than one lah Bila soalan banyak assumptions So that's for question number 10 Susah Senang Very easy Question number 11 Electric kettle is filled with 500 gram of water at 30 celsius So kita ada satu electric kettle Okay, question number 11 eh oh, Okay lah, electric kettle is heat So we have 500 gram 0.5 kg Tukar terus dalam SI unit Water at 30 celsius The power heating element is okay. Heating element dia bagi 0.8 kilowatt Tukar terus SI unit 0.8, 10, 3 Okay Assume all heat from the heating element is transferred to the water Calculate heat energy needed to increase the temperature to Okay So sekarang ada increment of temperature So yang ni bukan tajuk latent heat tadi Sebab dia ada increment of temperature So means kita akan pakai Q equal to M C theta So ada increment from 30 to 100 Okay So tapi sebelum tu hmm, Alright So dapat teruslah jawapan Masuk 0.5 C 4200 dah bagi Dan ni ada changes 70 So kita akan answer in jokes Time taken So time taken Power, this one is power Q over T So the answer from here Time factor So you will get answer 
in second terms Okay, semua mesti dapat terus dengan SI ni Boleh tahu? No? Rearrange the equation Why is the handle of the kettle made of plastic? Why is the heating element made of metal? Okay, this one Kenapa ini plastik? Kenapa ini metal? Okay, hari ni tanya pada sekolah rendah pun dia orang kan? Alright, so Buat plastik lah, dia dulu tak pernah Ini dia cepat pernah Okay, itu yang lain pada sekolah rendah Haa, awak upgrade sikit lah Why? Because plastik is non conductor so have very low of heat capacity oh sorry very high heat capacity okay this one metal is a conductor low heat specific capacity so bila low dia cepat panas bila tinggi dia lambat panas kita pegang yang dua ni kita ada kesalahan okay so awak jawab upgrade sikit lah eh. jangan jawab seluruh anda The heating element of the kettle is located at the base of the kettle Why? Kenapa? Awak oh, tengok kalau besar ya Dia punya coil ya kat bawah ni Kenapa coil dia letak kat tepi ya Letak kat tepi ni ke Letak di peratas ke Why? Give me one way Apa kataan ya? Apa proses yang berlaku? Ini sign from tea boleh belajar Bila kita panaskan dari bawah Saya so, kena mendidih yang panas akan naik Ke atas ni sejuk Sejuk dia akan turun Bila dia turun Dia jadi panas Dia naik balik Itu yang ke atas Dia sejuk Dia turun balik So this one is called Convection Perolakan So Supaya proses perolakan berlaku So that the water Akan Panaskan sama rata lah Kali panaskan secara keseluruhan lah Tak ada lah kat sini dia panas Kat atas ni soft So dia akan panas keseluruhan dia Okay so the word is convection So explain Question number 12 Okay, question number 12 Question number 12 The substance has a mass of 250 gram The substance loses 5,635 joules of heat when cool There is 25 Celsius drop in the temperature Calculate the heat specific capacity Okay, soalan ni Dengar perkataan betul-betul Kadang-kadang kita salah faham perkataan dia Kat sini dia kata, okay, you know the mass is 250 gram So, tukar PJG Then, the heat is given 5625 joules Okay, perkataan dia Temperature drop Tak kisahlah dia drop daripada sejuta ke berapa Tapi dia kata sebanyak mana drop? 25 Celsius So, kalau 100, jadi 75 So, maksud dia yang ini Bukan Initial temperature or final temperature Yang ni is How much the changes of temperature Berapa banyak perubahan Okay, ada yang guna T car, ada yang guna T So, tak ada sum Ada yang sum Okay, so yang ni maksud dia Kita pakai terus nanti MC theta Yang ni maksud 25 sekutu ya Tak payah nak apa tolak apa Sebab yang tu perbezaan dia Kita maksud temperature drop Okay, dia telah menurun sebanyak Okay, so from here you calculate you get the C So you get the C, now you compare to page 128 Okay, what is C? So, dapat jawapan dia lah C ni apa? Copper ke? Gold ke? Aluminium ke? Boron ke? So, if it's copper, apa kegunaan copper? So, dia tinggi ke rendah? Explain the use of substance based on its specific Identify the substance based on the table Okay, identify ni maksud dia Kalau dia bawah 1000 tu, maksud dia kecil lah So, we know Let's see, okay, kita dapat jawapan 900 So, means kecil nilai dia Kalau 1000, 2000, 3000 tu Heat specific dia tinggi So, kalau dia kecil dia metal Metal ni means dia cepat panas So, how we identify Because the heat specific is low Means it's a conductor It's a metal So, it's easier to be heat up Okay, senang nak panaskan dia Okay, so yes Question number 13 ha, Ini upgrade Hari ya, question number 13 Okay, question number 13, bamboo steamer Kalau awak pernah makan koi pao ke Atau uh, makan apa tu Dingsap uh, So dia susun dalam buluh Dekat dingkat macam ni lah Dia sebenarnya perut kukul kat rumah macam biasa Memang perut kukul kita pakai aluminium Yang ni dia pakai buluh Kenapa dia pakai buluh? Proses dia semua sama uh, Cuma buluh tu bagus sikit sebab apa uh, Steam dia boleh keluar So dia tak terkondens dekat periuk tu So dia tak tumpah balik jatuh atas koi pao tu Okay, so yang ni You have to design Ok 
okay understand all right so when you design make sure you um, consider dia punya size then uh, kenapa nak buat berlapis-lapis dan dia punya C kapasiti tinggi ke kapasiti rendah ok you have to draw sikit lah jadi kita akan explain panjang lebar lagi lah ok last question enrichment corner ok this is very interesting apakah jenis kepenuh kopi? let's go and this kepenuh kopi ok so this one kalau ada tu uh, orang tua-tua kampung lah macam ni lah kalau kita pergi order kopi ok kopi, kopi ni panas so dia letak ais kat tepi ataupun awak nak kopi panas tubuh ais kat dalam ok so which one better which one is your choice ok so you can tengok kalau you buat macam ni dia memang cepat sejuk tak ada masalah tapi kalau awak nak cepat sejuk kalau awak order kopi sejuk tu apa awak order kopi panas so bila masuk ais so what happen Volume dia akan meningkat Maksud dia dia jadi tak sedap sikit lah Jadi cayak lah Tawak lah sikit Tapi sejuk cepat Kalau yang ini Dia akan ada thermal contact So heat will transfer Transfer dekat cawan Cawan transfer dekat kopi So dia akan sejuk sikit-sikit Tapi taste dia Taste dia sama lah Maintain lah Buka apa kat dalam So dia tak tambah volume So which one is better Alright So Pernah ada satu cerita lah Pernah dengar So you Ada satu cerita Seorang so, ni dia ada singgit okay, Dia ada singgit Dia pergi satu kedai tu Dia tengok menu kat situ Kopi panas Singgit Kopi sejuk, singgit setengah Lepas tu dia ada singgit ya Dia, dia order kopi panas Kopi tu sampai-sampai oh, Dia minum tu eh Orang ni semua tengok terkejut ya Siapa? Bakat bibiak kan? Tak apa Siapa? Dia kata, kalau tu bungkus air kopi tu sejuk, dia kena minyak sikit sama Dia ada singgit dia lah Sampai-sampai tu dia minum Okay Okay Bercita rakyat sikit lah So, we already concluded uh, Moment simulation part tu So, I expect you to finish this Okay, nanti buka sekolah nanti Kita jumpa, turun bawah aja kepada orang Thank you Thank you sir Say, See you soon Arigato masas See you soon.